Rain, the Beatles tribute tonight and tomorrow night only at the Fox. Ian Garcia, who plays Paul, joins us here on the Big 550 KTRS. Ian, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hello, me love. <laughs> oh, he's been talking that way all morning, Ian. Really? <laughs> uh, sorry about that, Ian. I, I, I can't help myself. Tell us, uh, tell us about Rain. Is this a this is a tribute concert to the Beatles? Absolutely. Yes, it is. Um, well, we tell a, a very uh, interesting story, and there's lots of costume changes, lots of uh, media going on, an incredible light show. Um, and, yeah, we go through uh, the different eras, and it's uh, a show f not just for adults but also for, you know, the entire family, kids. And uh, we usually, uh, it's nice to see three generations of Beatles fans in the audience at our shows, so that, that tells you a little something about uh, the music itself. It really is true. Uh, you think about the Beatles and the staying power for the grandparents out there, the parents, and then, you know, Glee just did a whole two-episode tribute to the Beatles, so we, even the young kids get the Beatles these days. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. 50 years later almost, you know. What is it about the Beatles that, that, that just sort of rings true? Um, well, obviously, uh, you could start with the undeniable songwriting, and then add in a few hooks here and there. <laughs> and just like the guitar riff I just heard before joining you guys um, and Day Tripper, uh, it's, it's just timeless, I guess. Sounds cliche, but it really is. Yeah. How did you come to play Paul? Um, well, where I'm from in Toronto, Canada, um, just like any other city, there's usually a, a, a circle of musicians who, who uh, you know, once you start playing around and, and other musicians get to know you, the word gets around, hey, I know a singer and I know a guitar player. I started off as a guitarist, actually, and um, some friends who were doing some uh, Beatles uh, tribute on, on cruise ships and cruise liners uh, needed a Paul uh, because their, their musicians couldn't hit the notes vocally, so uh, I auditioned for the part and, and learned to play bass and uh, spent a few years doing that, and, and I guess it started getting more serious and uh, and then i got the call from rain which was uh pretty incredible sure that's, that's where i am today yeah I, I, is this your first time visiting st louis and the fox um i believe i believe it will be yes the yeah. fox is a very big theater probably the biggest one you'll end up playing do you have to do anything different on a big stage like that yeah I, i've actually had the uh great honor of playing the fox in detroit as well okay so that yeah i know how big they are it's, it's incredible it's beautiful Ian, how did you come up with the title Rain? I mean, why why the title Rain? Not you, but the production. Yeah, it's an interesting story. Uh, as far as I know, uh, Mark Lewis, who was one of the uh, original founders, um, I think they, they used to be in a uh, band called Rain, R E I G N, as in Reign of the King or Reign of the Queen. Um, and then uh, I guess the Beatles thing took off, and then they someone must have told them, or they just said, "Hey, you know what? There's a song." called Rain by the Beatles, so they, they stuck with that. But that's that's the brief version of it. It's uh, going to perform tonight and tomorrow night only at the Fox. Is that normal for for that limited of a run? Um, it, it depends uh, on several things. Uh, who, who else is playing in, at the venue, uh, where the band is going to be performing next, you know, routing and whatnot, and, and obviously the size of the venue. So... Um, I know we're pretty busy uh, moving on to different parts, so um, if it's a short run, then we try to come back and, and you know, play the place again in the following uh, right. season, yeah. So it's tomorrow night and Saturday night at the Fox, Rain, the tribute to the Beatles. Have you ever met Paul McCartney? Not myself, no, not yet. <laughs> what would you ask him if you could? Um, I, I haven't even thought of that because... <laughs> you know, it's one of those things that you might run into him at the airport, and then it'll just go, wow, uh, <laughs> what to this guy? Hey, hi, I don't know if you know this, but I play, I play you, you. Uh, I play you on stage. Nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I try to stay away from things like that. But, uh, there's only two left. Ha have uh, Ringo and Paul. Uh, kids today are only going to know the Beatles from, from tapes, really, I mean, it's, and, and, and things like, like Rain. Yeah, media and well, well, that's what we're trying to do, right? Is to not only just keep the spirit and the music alive, but um, can't forget the other two. So, right. Um, and and true Beatles fans have, I would believe, their favorite Beatle, their favorite persona, their favorite character, their favorite songs, the voice, you know, the instruments. So, uh, 
like I said, it, it just when you p- take those four individual, you know, geniuses and put them together in, into a band, it's it's like I say, undeniable, and it's a it's a great honor to be performing with Rain. Um, so yes, it is. It is. I believe there's a Manny show on, on on Saturday as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. So there's uh, one on Friday and then a couple on uh, Saturday. The Beatles performed at Bush Stadium here in St. Louis uh, back in the mid '60s. I think the concert was like 20 minutes. Yeah, uh, they they're known for for having performed uh, very short performances, but uh, yeah. So uh, uh, it's a it's a little bit longer performance, a couple miles down the road. Just uh, a little longer. Yeah, just just a little longer at the Fox. Ian Garcia, we'll let you uh, get back to work. Thank you for spending a couple minutes with us. Rain, uh, the Beatles tribute, uh, the the musical, if you will, tomorrow and all day Saturday at the Fox. Get tickets. Should be a whole lot of fun. Ian, I'm I'm going Friday night, so I look forward to it. Have a safe trip and uh, enjoy St. Louis. Enjoy. It. Thank you, guys. You got Bye. it. Ian Bye. Garcia here, uh, spending a couple minutes with us. I love going to the Fox. I adore the Fox. Love the Fox. Yes. And with the new ceiling at the Fox, have you uh, been there since? The, uh, yeah. The new ceiling. It's just there's nothing like it. There's really nothing. There are like so it. many St. Louis gems, you know. It's really true. Yeah. Um, go to Ted Drew's before, and then uh, maybe a little Fox. Get that McGraw ring. Heath Bar Oreo cookie. How about the breaking news that Ted Drew's is opening up a location in uh, New Ballpark?